So you're a newbie to Batea and you come in for the first time. So it's your first time coming to Patea. So first of all, I'd like to say, I'm awful sorry for your breakup. Your marriage breakup or your girlfriend have left you because 99% of people come to Patea because they got a broken heart or they just sat in their house lonely. So the first thing you need, obviously, is an airplane ticket. Do not get a package all day, it's completely pointless. So go on to Skyscanner and get your return ticket to Batea. Right, secondly now, you need to book your hotel. Well, that's easy. Just go on to Agoda or go on to booking.com because the amount of times that I booked the hotel room in the hotel reception, because for some reason it's cheaper to book on Agoda or booking.com than it is to book direct with a hotel. So that's your plane booked and your hotel booked. So once you get into Bangkok Airport or Swamak, whatever it's called, I can't even say it, right? Um, a taxi is easy to get to Batea. It's uh, an hour and a half drive. Uh, if you're paying any more than 1,500 baht, then you're getting ripped off. So you need to be looking at paying between 1,500 down to go in a taxi and they're in abundance. So don't worry about that whatsoever. So you've got to Batea in a taxi, you've checked into your hotel and now the fun starts. Because believe me, once you get to this town, your life will never ever be the same again, I promise you. Because you will eat, sleep and breathe Batea. <laughs> That, I will guarantee you, will happen for the rest of your life. Right, so, now for the fun bit. You get onto the size, and I'm gonna tell you, with the hotel, for your first time, book Central Patea, right? Because it's easy to get around, it's easy to get around anyway, but book Central Patea, because the transport links, which I'm gonna talk about later, uh, is ideal. So. First time, would I come on my own? Yes, but I would suggest you bring a friend with you, someone that's been here before. Otherwise, you're gonna get taken for a complete and at that mug. They're just gonna see money bags. First time guy here, yeah, on his own, don't know nothing, is changing all the way for him. So, you leave your hotel, you get on the size, and it's just gonna blow your mind. <laughs> You're just going to think, oh my God, I've come to the best place in the world. And the first day, you're going to be walking around like this, going, ah, oh, ah, oh, smiling and just having an absolute whale of a time. But don't worry, because in two or three days' time, you'll be like the rest of everybody that come here. And it's like you've been injected with heroin or something, and you just be walking around like something off a zombie film, I guess. Right, because up and down, up and down, up and down the soils, which is absolutely amazing. So you get to your first bar, you go in, you're all nervous, you don't know what to do, you're thinking, oh my God, right? And a, a girl, I guarantee you, will come over to you. She'll say, do you want a drink? You say, yes, please. So she gets you a drink, right? Have a little look around to see if there's any girls there that you like, right? Because if the girl that's serving you, you don't like the look of that, just say, if you want female company, because you will, because it's, uh, it's your first trip, you say, oh, can you bring this girl over to me, please? So the girl will come over to you and just say, hello, how are you? What's your name? Uh, where'd you come from? You holiday or you live here? Is this your first time in Thailand? Please, please do not tell her it's your first time in Thailand. Say, no, I've been here many times. That's gonna save you a lot of money, I guarantee you. So, you like the girl, you say, uh, can I buy you a drink? So, you'll buy a lady drink, which I've explained in another video. Say your drink is 80 baht, her drink would be like 150 baht. So you get talking, right? A bit of a conversation, a bit of a rapport, and you are probably already fallen in love because I guarantee you, you'll fall in love, but please don't. 
please, please do not fall in love, but you will. So anyway, then you say, how much is the bar fine? So it, say, let's just say the bar fine is 500 baht, which is about 12 quid. And then you say to the lady, uh, how much, how much for you? So she say, you want short time, which is about an hour of fun, or you want long time, which is all night. So she already worked out how much she's gonna ask you because when she asked you your name, where you come from, where you stay, all that, your first time. So she'll say, I don't know, just, just say, I want 3,000 baht. Just tell her no. Say, no chance. I'll give you 1,005. Just, let's just say that, right? She'll go with you. So, right, once you've paid that bar, fine. Get the hell out of that bar. Because if you stay in that bar, you're gonna continue to pay lady drinks for that girl, which is like 150 baht. So just go to any bar, any, any bar in the whole town, and you'll pay the same price then for her drinks as what, as what you do for her. And just stay with her for one night and let her go. Don't fall in love. Just say, in the morning, thank you very much, there's your money, and off you go. So, after you've been out, partying with a girl, you'll go back to the hotel and you go to the reception and you give the lady, you give the reception the lady's ID card. Now that is important because believe me, you're taking a complete stranger to your room. So if you wake up in the middle of the night and uh, half, half your stuff's gone, your wallet's gone, right? One, you can go back to the bar, but secondly, you'll have your ID card, right? So anyway, so you've had your night of fun with her, and um, you, give, you pay her, she goes downstairs. 99% of the time in a good hotel, or any hotel, I, I think, I don't think there's any hotel that um, doesn't phone up and say, hello, um, everything okay with lady? No, they're not asking you, did you have a good night of passion with a lady? They're asking you, is everything all right? Is the room all right? She haven't taken anything. You say yes, everything's okay with a lady. They'll give her her ID card back and then she'll go. So that's your first night in Batea. Do not keep the girl. Say bye-bye, believe me, because she will want to stay with you. So you have two types of um, girls in Batea. You have girls that work in a bar with a salary so they start work, say, four o'clock in the afternoon and work till, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning, is it? And they get a salary at the end of the month. I don't know what it is, 20,000, 30,000, whatever it is anyway. Uh, or you can get a freelance. Now, a freelance is a girl that's not attached to the bar. You can find it on the street, you can find it anywhere. The only problem with taking a freelance, and I'd advise, advise against it for someone that's coming here for the first time, uh, you got no comebacks, so if you've got a problem with that, uh, well, how are you going to find that? If the girl works in a bar, you can always go back to the bar and you can solve things out. So that's the difference between a bar girl and a freelance. So there's a couple of famous soys. Uh, obviously, you've got Walking Street. Um, it's huge. Uh, it's just, personally for me, it's just a big tourist rip-off. Uh, you go into some of the go-go's, there and you're going to spend a lot of money. Believe me, a hell of a lot of money. So I would go there once, I'd go and see the pretty lights, and then I'd go back to places like LK Metro, Soy Bacow, uh, Soy 6, which I'm going to touch on now. Uh, you got Soy Chayapun, Soy Diana. You got many places which, believe me, are better than Walking Street and better value than Walking Street. So. In the daytime, uh, if I was on a holiday, I'd be straight down Soy 6. Now, Soy 6 is easy to get to. Uh, you get on a bar pass, which are one of these by you. And the amount of times I've seen people try to talk to the driver to ask how much, how much, where, and so, so on. Can you take me here, can you take me there? Just jump on the back of the bus and it's 10 baht. And it goes around in a loop. It goes around Second Road, round Beach Road and just keeps going round and round and round. It's easy, just jump on, 
press the buzzer when you want to get off. Give the uh, driver 10 baht and just go. There's no, there's no need to be having a conversation. So anyway, soy sex. Go to soy sex, believe me. There are more girls in soy sex than any other soy. And it's a daytime thing. It opens about one o'clock and it closes about, I think it closes at one o'clock actually. So it's like uh, 12 hours. And it's basically uh, a short time fun. You go in there, have a drink, pick a girl. I think it's, it was 300 baht, maybe 400 baht now. I don't know if any of you know, put in the comments. Uh, you, you go upstairs with a girl uh, for an hour of fun and then come back down, jobs are good on. You only got to take them back to the room and uh, everybody's happy. So soy sex is definitely the place to go in the afternoon. Um, let's touch on food. Don't worry about food. Food is cheap. There's uh, street food everywhere. 60 baht, 50 baht, 80 baht. And it's all uh, Thai food. It's all cooked in front of you. It's all fresh. So don't go worrying um, about hygiene because believe me, I've had millions of it and never had a problem. There's also loads of uh, restaurants. They, they're everywhere. They, they're cheap enough. I know people are moaning and saying uh, everything's gone expensive. Uh, I, I totally disagree with that. It's, it's cheap as hell, yeah. So the next thing that we need to talk about is money. How much money do you need to have a, an absolute amazing time here? I honestly believe a thousand pound a week is what you need to have a great time. But it all depends what you're after there. And 99.9% .9 of people come here for one reason, one reason only, the women. It's as simple as that. So as a newbie, just be careful because if they find out it's your first time here, these girls will smell blood and they will extract as much money out of you that is physically possible. So don't get carried away because you're heartbroken, because you are up. You are heartbroken. I guarantee you, you've come here because you're, you're trying to you're trying to fix your broken heart. Well, this is not the place to come to fix it. But it's definitely the place to come to have the best holiday of your life. Whatever you've heard about this town, times it by 10, and you're probably 20% of the way there of what this town is going to give you. Because it is absolutely amazing, yeah. Right? It's, you'll never have a holiday like this again in your life. But I guarantee you one thing, when you get home, the only thing you will think about is how the hell you get back here. You work all the hours God sends and earn as much money as you can to get back here as many times as possible. I guarantee you that 100%. I just go back to the uh, hotel, right? Don't go worrying about fancy facilities because I'd say the first seven or eight times I come here, I never even seen a swimming pool. <laughs> didn't, didn't go in it. The beach. So I don't see it. I've been here five months. I think I've only seen the beach four times, possibly five times. Because what, cause, cause what will happen? You'll go out, you'll party till three, four in the morning. You'll go back to the hotel with your lovely little girlfriend for the night. And you'll wake up about three o'clock. She'll bag it off to work. You'll jump in the shower and you'll be straight back on it. 100%. They just go around in a loop, in a loop, in a loop. And every day, or it just, the whole holiday just becomes one big day. So, anyway, put in the comments below if you can help out these newbies, if you're not a newbie. Because I'm only given what I feel is appropriate information. But please, 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 
do not fall in love. I think I fell in love the first 10 times I came here, right? It don't do you any favors whatsoever. And don't go and out the phone numbers for when you go back home, you keep in touch, because it's all that's gonna give you is a world of hurt, believe me. Babe, can you help me? My mother's sick, the dog have died, the buffalo's leg is broke, right? My mother's in the hospital. I cannot pay my rent. I cannot do this, I cannot do that. Just come here, have your fun, and go home. So, that's what I believe is good advice for a newbie. And don't worry about getting a taxi back to the airport because there's millions, yeah. You could just book one year, you could book another day, paying about, uh, I think the going rate's about 1,100 baht, that was it, maybe 1,200 baht. And you get to the airport and you've got this, this elevator to uh, departures. And that's where you have a breakdown. You will cry and cry and cry. You'll cry on a plane, and you'll be sitting there, looking into space, thinking, what the hell have just happened the last couple of weeks? And <laughs> you will never, ever be the same again. I categorically promise you that. So, I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I made it because uh, I had a couple of people in the comments asking if I can make one for uh, newbies. I try, I try to make it fun, I do, but oh, it's just it's hard work sometimes. Right, so if you want me to make a video on something else, let me know, because I'm trying to stay dry. I'm not going to try and drink, but that's just getting worse and worse. I can't go six hours out drinking. So, I'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye. Bye for now.